Today we're making the crispiest oven baked chicken wings. Are you team spicy buffalo or creamy garlic parm? Let's find out. We've got four pounds of chicken wings. Some are drumlets and some are winglets or flats. We want a nice crispy skin, so now let's wipe them dry. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's add four tablespoons of oil. So which oil are you using? I'm using grapeseed oil. You can use any vegetable oil with a little smoke point. Now to give the wings a nice flavor, let's add one tablespoon of garlic powder. Let's season them up with some salt. And some freshly cracked black pepper. And our final main ingredient is baking powder. So what's the baking powder for? The baking powder is really going to crisp up the skin when we're cooking it in the oven. So it's really important to add this and it makes a huge difference in the wings. Oh wow. Now very gently, let's give this all a mix because we want to make sure that all the chicken wings get well coated with the baking powder and the salt and everything that we have added in. The garlic powder. Just be a little careful because you don't want to tear the skin on the wings. I prepped two baking trays with an aluminum foil and I'm going to put a wire rack into it. Now this wire rack is going to help to let the heat go from underneath and crisp up our wings all around. So let's place them on and we're going to space them out so that they don't stick to each other. So what temperature do we have to cook these at? I have the oven preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to cook these for about 50 to 60 minutes and we will flip them once in between the cooking time. So excited for these. I can't wait to. Halfway through, let's give them a flip. We want that nice crispy skin all around. Let's pop this back into the oven for another 30 minutes. Wow, just see how crispy they've turned out. So I'm team traditional buffalo wings, and for that, we have to start out with some Frank's hot sauce. So I'm gonna pour that into the bowl. That's a quarter cup. We're also gonna add some melted butter. This is unsalted butter, and that's four tablespoons of butter. Now just to sweeten it up, I'm gonna go in with some honey, about two tablespoons. You could also do brown sugar here, that would work really well too. Now let's give this a mix. And this is gonna coat the wings really well. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, let's toss them in. Now let's toss this very carefully. We wanna get all the sauce, but we don't wanna take out any of that crispy coating. That's looking really tempting. Yeah. It's really going to be a true taste test at the end. Now we're going to toss these back on the tray, give them a light brush with the sauce, and pop them in the broiler for about two minutes, and make sure you keep a close eye on them, because they're going to crisp up nicely, but you don't want them to burn. I'm team garlic palm, and I've got a secret for you, because I like them nice and creamy. So we're going to go in with half a cup of ranch dressing. Since we already have some garlic on the wings, we're just going to go in with half a teaspoon of garlic powder here, a dash of dried parsley, and my favorite, the Parmesan cheese. I'm going to give it a nice, good helping of this. How much Parmesan cheese are we adding to this? As much as your heart desires. I'm going right now with just quarter cup. Now let's give this a quick mix. That looks so creamy though. I'm sure you're going to enjoy mine better than yours. We'll see about that. <laughs> now that we're done being hot, let's get cheesy. We're going to start putting all these nice crispy wings into the sauce we have made. Now let's give them a light toss, making sure that we do not take out any of the skin, but at the same time making sure that we get them well coated with all that lovely deliciousness that we have made. Wow, I cannot wait to dig into this. Now let's plate them up and enjoy them with some carrots and celery. These chicken wings are gonna be flying off your table. Pun intended. And before we go, subscribe and hit on the bell icon to get a notification 
every time we upload new videos. And follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. All the information is in the description below. Thanks for watching. See ya.